I'm Marco Paganoni from uh, Milano Bicocca University as well as INFN. Uh, my main commitment are in the field of high energy physics. I've been working uh, in previous years uh, at the DEF Experimental Lab and now since uh, I would say 2000 I'm contributing to CMS detector at LHC. We built a part of uh, the electromagnetic calorimeter and then once it was built I moved to computing and I'm coordinating the Italian effort uh, to the computing of uh, CMS. Obviously in this way I met uh, the great computing uh, and uh, while I continue uh, continuing to build up uh, the resources needed uh, for uh, the computing and waiting for the data. I met uh, other people working uh, in uh, grid uh, to support uh, grid activities and scientific communities uh, with uh, smaller compute resources than needed uh, elsewhere. Uh, INFN is giving a big contribution in this uh, spreading the grid worldwide and so I proposed uh, this project about uh, disseminating in Southeast Asia and uh, we are now at the end of the project after a couple of years of uh, very exciting work because uh, we had to put together communities from Thailand, uh, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, Philippines. They had already a clear reference here in Taiwan at the Academia Sinica uh, Rock, but at the same time um, it was uh, very interesting to see how meeting people and giving them the possibility of accessing big computer resources, ideas were automatically generated about uh, mutual collaborations in very different fields and especially the one that uh, I was most passionate in was uh, mitigation of uh, problems arising from uh, epidemics as well as from uh, natural disasters. So we, we made quite some progress in it. Uh, this conference is one of the uh, early point where uh, we uh, define what has been done, what are the plans for the future, and now we are eagerly waiting for uh, the new uh, project uh, which will probably be approved, the chain, which will be something similar but on a worldwide scale. So uh, this will help us also in collaborations with uh, uh, scientific institutions of Australia, of uh, Latin America, of uh, Africa, and, and this will help in building uh, really a global knowledge on these uh, uh, subjects uh, which are extremely important and also extremely urgent to solve because uh, in the tropical areas, for instance, uh, the fact that uh, there could be some climate changes uh, is going to affect uh, very much both on the side of epidemics, uh, dengue fever for instance is increasing, as well as uh, on the side of uh, floods. Thailand for instance is uh, having a uh, national uh, program uh, in order to control better the quantity of waters and agriculture and to defend better from uh, typhoons as well as Philippines and Taiwan itself.